Hello and welcome. This is Angie with the CountrySheetCottage.net here today with another edition of Cricut Basics. So today we're going to talk about cursive fonts in your Cricut machine. So there's a few little tricky things when it comes to Cricut to cursive fonts and learning how to do them correctly on your Cricut. So we're going to dive right in. I'm going to screen share and so show you design space and show you some tips and tricks for rocking that cursive font which is so so hot right now and making all those projects look amazing. This really applies to any cursive font. The same type of things apply, but we'll use a couple of different ones in this video. So when I add it, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a huge space between the letters. To fix that, we just click letter space and start clicking the down arrow until we get something that looks a little better. Now, on this font, you can start to see that the H and the E look perfect. They look like they're together and a cursive word. But then this L, the first L, starts going a little bit too far left. This L is not far enough to the left. And this O is not far enough to the left. So if I wanted to use this font, I would actually need to move each letter independently to get a word that looked like a cursive font. If you click on advance, you can ungroup to letters. Now my H and my E are fine. Now I can move this L independently and line it up with that E. And then I can move the next L and move the O. So sometimes, depending on the font you're working with, you can use that letter spacing and it will get it perfectly perfect every single time. Other times, the font, for whatever reason, does not work and ungrouping the letters is really the only way. Now, you can zoom in and line them up even better with a slight overlap kind of bothers me sometimes. And when you're happy with the results, now you want to get the Cricut machine to cut this word as one. So if we clicked make it right now, the letters would be all over the place. H's, L's, O's, E's, all in different places, not what we wanted. So let's cancel that. Now usually to get them where we want them, we usually click attach. And you may use, have used the attach feature before. Now when we click make it, the hello is right. All the letters are where we want to, them to be. But if you can see, especially on these L's, on that left where the L joins the E, you can see that there's a cut line. So it's still treating each letter as an individual cut, it's just placing them close together. Still not exactly what we want. So let's click cancel. Let's actually just detach those because we don't wanna attach them together. We actually wanna pick all the letters and we want to weld them. Now, once we weld them, we cannot change the letters anymore. So you definitely want to make sure that every, all your words are spelled correctly, everything is where you want it to be before you click weld, because now the only thing we can do is resize it. We cannot actually change the letter placement. But now when we click make it, hello is one word, no cut lines between the letters, just one word, just like you would write it in a cursive font. So there we go, using cursive fonts in Cricut Design Space, just that easy. So let's try a different font and give an example of a font that will just work with adjusting the letter spacing and not needing to go in and adjust each letter individually. Let's try the thing, same thing with the Everyday Fonts Celebrate. So again, we're gonna use the word hello and we're gonna adjust our letter spacing. But this time we get a word that works perfectly just by adjusting the letter spacing. So in this case, there's really no need to ungroup to letters. We can just 
adjust that letter spacing to where it looks like one cohesive word and then click weld and then we are ready to cut and have a perfect cursive word. So give those two techniques a try for your cursive writing in Cricut Design Space and I think you will be happy with the results. So I hope that makes sense and I hope you will use that weld function on all your cursive fonts, move those letters close together, weld them and you get one word that is perfect in a cursive font for all of your projects. So thank you so much for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube if you've enjoyed this. Head to our YouTube channel, the main channel, to check out the entire Cricut Basic series if you want to learn anything about Design Space. Hopefully the answer is there for you. Don't find the answer? Leave a comment below with something you would like to see in a future Cricut Basics video and we will get to it soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.